Hey everybody, Ricky Needham Handicapping, Greyhound Racing from the Palm Beach Kennel Club, West Palm Beach, Florida on Friday, September the 23rd, and this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 8 this evening, folks, 9 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is a grade B affair, and these pups are sprinting 545 yards. Using Quick Dog software, I've isolated a power pup to put on top of my multiple entry contenders. Listen on this entry tonight, number four, TB Scarlet. I'll make a win place and show wager. I like to play the boxed exotics, the box gimmicks here at Palm Beach. So along with number four tonight, I'll be boxing number seven, Atascosita Elmo, number three, Toomey Road, and number one, JJ Mama Duke. That's 4731 for your exotic wager possibilities. Race 8 tonight at Palm Beach. Quick Dog Software has helped me find a pair of very playable Power Pup long shots. I'll make one place and show wagers on both of these entries tonight on dayatthetrack.com. First comes in race two, one place and show and a five to one shot, number two, looking for Leahy. And in race four, one place and show and a four to one shot, number two. Nino's Full Moon. So from Palm Beach on a Friday night, Rick Needham for DayAtTheTrack.com reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it. Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from beautiful Belmont Park, Elmont, New York on Friday afternoon, September the 23rd, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle Naira. New York Racing Association race of the day. Let's take a look at race three, the co-feature on the card this afternoon, folks, 2.04 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Positive Gal Stakes, six furlong sprint on the dirt, three-year-old Phillies race for $60,000. Contenders number six, Roman Treasure, number one, Maple Forest, number four, Moonlit Malibu, and number three, Tap for Luck. Number six, Roman Treasure, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, has turned in power run performances in five straight starts, hitting the board in four of those adventures, including back-to-back -back power run wins in her fourth and fifth races back. Jockey Ramon Dominguez and trainer Michael Hushin sent her to the post. They've whacked the tote board with an impressive 83% of their entries settled as a team to date. Number one, Marble Forest has hit the board in five straight, winning twice in this recent streak of racing consistency. She's coming off a power run place finish in her last start, missing a circle trip in that race, which was contested at today's Trackmaster Plus class level of 107 by less than a length of the wire. Race three summary, number six, Roman Treasure tops my contenders list, which also includes number one, Maple Forest, number four, Moonlit Malibu, and number three, Tap for Luck, 6143, and the third from Belmont, the $60,000 positive gal stakes. Bonus long shots, Woodbine, race one, number five, Playing in my whiskey, a 9-2 shot, the overall speed leader in his maiden field, spurning at today's distance of five furlongs on Woodbine's cushion dirt track. Mountaineer Park, Chester, West Virginia, race number one, number two, clearly wicked, a 9-2 shot, the overall speed leader in his maiden field, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt, but also kindly note, I'm using the term speed with some pointed sarcasm. So from Belmont Park on a Friday, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.